But last week I said this to you. I said that the deception is massive. That it's farther reaching than you may even realize. That there is more in this world that is designed to deceive you than in my opinion is not designed to deceive you. If you were to take a poll of how many things in the media, and by media I mean every form of media, movies, TV, uh, uh, books, magazines, the music, this is all ran, guys, by Satan. I know that sounds extreme. And I know that, there's, that people would be like, oh, you're taking too hard of a stance. I'm not. I'm really not. This is indeed the reality we live in. Most of this world system that we are currently stuck in is under the control of Satan and is designed to deceive us. Most of it is not true. It's speaking lies. But you know what is true? You know what is true? Jesus rose from the dead. He's alive. Death did not keep him. The grave did not conquer him. He overcame sin. He is King of kings and Lord of lords, and He is coming back. He will not leave us, and He did not leave us. He currently sits next to that throne that John was so taken back by. He is God. He is in control. And He loves you. Jesus loves you with a love that is so powerful, so big, so amazing, that it needs to dominate our thinking in these dark days. Let the love of Jesus be the light that shines in your life today. Let that light blow away the darkness and the lies and the untruth of this world. We need to be people who walk in the positiveness of the reality of a risen King. But let's be people that walk in the truth of the risen Lord every single day. The love of Christ just flowing through our lives because His love is a perfect love. It's agape, it's agape love. The light of Jesus just shining out through our lives in this dark world. Jesus rose from the dead. We're celebrating Christmas next week. And it's an awesome story, isn't it? God becoming flesh, taking on a baby, it being born in a manger to a virgin girl, a poor virgin girl. He stepped out of eternity and took on flesh so that he could march to the cross and die for our sins. The story doesn't end in the manger because he did this for us. He died for our sins. He rose from the grave. Cling to that truth, Christian. Don't let this world bully you. Don't let it bring you down. Don't let it overwhelm you. Jesus is king. And man, he is coming back. And we just need to be ready, waiting, and seeking that day. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Father.